Here's an opportunity for you to stop and think about certain messages that you might have received, maybe in your earlier lives. You might want to write these down in a little notebook, or certainly share some of your ideas with us on the, uh, the forum sites. If we were doing this exercise in a classroom, I'd probably give you big sheets of flip chart paper. And across the top, I'd write the, the themes that we're thinking of. And down the left hand side of the page, I'd write down the names of different uh, groups of people for you to think about what messages did you receive from those groups of people in relation to the themes running across the top of the page. So the three themes running across the top of the page for you to put these on the heads of columns would be having babies, teenage sex, and gays and lesbians. Then down the left hand side of the page, you could put these different groups of people. So your family, your parents or guardians, your schooling, your professional education, and then maybe culture, religion, ethnic, or any other Demographic, demographic community. So you could stop playing this video for a few moments and please get on with that exercise. Remember whatever you write down is for your eyes only and let you decide to share some of that with us in our forum groups and you're more than welcome to do that. Once you're ready then come back to the video and I'll give you some feedback to give you an indication of what you might have been considering. You might notice that the whole theme of having babies has changed over the decades. Just from around about 100 years ago, in the early part of the 20th century, there were notions of illegitimacy, shotgun weddings, there was stigma around being a single mother, uh, there were workhouses, babies were often taken away from mothers and put up for adoption, and there were stigmas around contraception and abortion as well. Now today, so many of the earlier social representations and stigmas of people have been challenged, changed and overturned. For example, in some parts of the UK, there are more babies born out of wedlock than in wedlock, as the term used to go. And therefore, the whole notion of illegitimacy has been challenged and overturned. But we must realise that this is not always at the same pace for every individual or every community. In relation to sexual matters, it's important for us to remember that there's nothing new under the sun. Teenage sex has always happened, and yet um, today, not so different to earlier days, there are times when the subject is still shrouded in silence, misinformation and negative judgmentalism, and this can hinder the process for so many young people as they transition into adulthood and often leading to undesirable consequences. In your reflection on your earlier images about gay males, it's important to note that the visibility of so many gay and bisexual males today is a relatively recent phenomenon in the UK. Um, up until 1967, it was still completely illegal in England and Wales, and later in Scotland and Northern Ireland. In many countries around the world, it is still illegal to have gay sex or to be identified as gay. The visibility or lack of visibility of lesbian females has been quite different to, um, to gay males. So lesbians have been shown in the media um, in different ways to gay males and especially for gratuitous viewing of women being amorous together. But we must consider that lesbians are still poorly represented in healthcare initiatives and especially those aiming to promote sexual health. These three are just a tiny selection of some of the representations and images that you might have thought about in relation to sexual health and well-being of different people. Hopefully we'll cover a lot more as you progress throughout this course. Um, it's really important for us to remember, however, how many healthcare professionals still find it difficult to talk about um, minority sexualities important too for each of us to reflect on the ABC of sexual health learning which you covered in unit one. So our attitudes, our beliefs and the impact on clinical practice.